National Party leader Christopher Luxon joins us now from Auckland uh, to share his thoughts on the passing of uh, the Queen. Good morning. Morning, Ryan. How are you feeling about this? What's your reaction to the news overnight? Well, it's a day of great loss, really, but also a day, I think, to reflect on a great legacy. And so, you know, we all uh, thought this day would come someday, but actually it's hit us and um, there'll be tremendous sadness and, and shock across the country, really. And uh, I think it's just a, you know, a time for us also to reflect on a person who's been a constant presence in our life and just been a tremendous, uh, offered tremendous dedicated public service. And um, it's just a phenomenal, uh, phenomenal achievement. How did you find out this morning? Uh, it was actually through uh, texting this morning from a friend overseas uh, in London who texted me um, very early this morning. And then, I, like the rest of us, um, caught up with the news and checked the BBC and followed your news bulletins and, and, and picked it up from there. But, I mean, um, she's an incredible person, right? I mean, to dedicate 70 years of your life in public service and you think about all that compassion, all that dedication, all that commitment each and every morning waking up determined to serve people. Uh, it's an, an incredible legacy and it's um, something that is, and to, and to have the, the affection that she was held in by so many people around the world over that whole period of time, uh, it's just an, a, a phenomenal contribution and, and an inspiration. And includes 10 visits, no less than 10 visits to us here in uh, little old New Zealand. How do you think Kiwis will be feeling about this this morning, Chris? Oh, I think there would just be sadness and shock, actually. I think, um, you know, she's just been such a constant presence in our lives. So I remember, um, must have been 1974, uh, when she came to the Commonwealth Games. And I remember, I think as a three-year-old, standing there on Memorial Ave in Christchurch with my brother and my mum and waving our little flags and being very excited with all the crowds on the street. And, uh, you know, a big big flash Rolls-Royce came down the road. And, um, you know, it was just magical, right? It was, um, there was just huge outpouring of affection for the Queen wherever she went. And, you know, she, as you say, she visited this country 10 times and you talk to people who remember the tours from the 50s and I think one in the 60s and, you know, they remember it with great affection as well. So, you know, I just think it's an incredible legacy. Um, obviously, there's a family at the heart of this as well that will be feeling the loss of a, of a grandmother and a mother and a great grandmother. Uh, and we think of them too. Absolutely. The Prime Minister here this morning said that New Zealand's entering a state of mourning and that a state memorial service will be held here. Obviously, there will also be a funeral over in uh, London. Do you know whether that's something you would travel to as Leader of the Opposition? I don't, to be honest, Ryan. Um, it's all pretty fluid and, and fast moving. But, you know, regardless, uh, I'll be uh, watching, you know, proceedings uh, either from here uh, and like with everyone else, I imagine. But um, really, for me, it's just um, an incredible, um, yeah, we feel a tremendous loss today. There's no doubt about it. Um, but we should also just remember a tremendous legacy as well. Absolutely. Uh, Chris Luxon there, the National Party leader, leader of the opposition. Thank you very much for your time this morning.